Hello and welcome to my nail corner. I have a fun little video for you today. This is a product you may have seen in Facebook ads recently. It has instructions that are not going to do me any good on the bottle. I ordered this because I thought, why not try it for the YouTube? So here I am. It claims to remove gel and dip products in 30 seconds. 30 seconds, you guys. Now, even if you do like a baggy method acetone soak, you're looking at, you know, five minutes. 30 seconds, that's amazing. So you are supposed to buffer file off your top coat, which is what I'm doing right now and then apply this to your nail, let it sit for 30 seconds, and it will remove your dip or gel product. So we're gonna give that a try. The, uh, yeah, there you go, I've buffed it off. Now the bottle, the lid pops right off, oops. There is a secondary lid that you can remove and that opens up the nozzle, which you will see here. And then you just apply it to the nail and let it sit. So we're gonna do that. And we're gonna let it sit and sit and sit and then I'm gonna pry at it a little bit with that tool that they send with it then I'm gonna apply some more then I'm gonna put my Apple watch on the table so I can speed this up for you but you can still see the time ticking by so stick with me speed ahead a little bit if you want but I will come back in a little bit and tell you what I am experiencing So I went ahead with the tool and kind of zhuzhed at the edge there to see if anything was happening and it really didn't seem like much of anything was happening. So I added more product. So the product does kind of a weird thing where it goes on like this kind of like jelly type substance and then it gets like a skin on the outside. So you can see in the video I touch it at some point and nothing comes off on my fingers. It has like a... It sounds like a really gross way to explain it, but it's kind of like a like a skin of like a blister. And so there's still like liquidy jelly on top of the product on my nail, on top of the dip powder, but the exterior of it is like a skin. So anyway, I'm gonna speed up the video a bit here because I just sit for a long time and it was painful for me to sit for a long time. So imagine watching somebody's hand just be still for a long time. But I also wanted to keep all of this in so that you could see from start to finish what this experience was like. So I'm gonna let this sit for a while. As we get near the end, I'm gonna come back and talk to you guys a little bit about this and the communication I had with the company surrounding this experience. So stick around and I'll be back towards the end of this video.
So if you look here on the packaging, this was shipped from California. Now, the thing about that is when I got my shipping email from these guys with a tracking number, it took quite a while for it to show any movement. And if you're familiar with USPS tracking numbers, oftentimes that is the case when it is actually shipping from overseas. And this took about three weeks to get in the mail, so I was pretty confident that it was coming from overseas, even though the website that I ordered from does say California in the address. Now, I find that to be a bit misleading. Like when I ordered it, I didn't think it was coming from China. I did think it was coming from a beauty company in California. So that was one thing. And I did notice on the package that it says the California address. So anyway, here I am working some more at the removal, adding some more product after scraping away a little bit and knowing that the rest of it wasn't going to budge. Anyway, all of this to say, if you can't tell already, this does not work as advertised. It certainly didn't work in 30 seconds. It didn't work after 10 minutes. I was still scraping away at my nail and ended up soaking it off with acetone after this video. The chunk that I did get off, I really attribute to the peel base underneath my nail. Yes, this obviously started to break away at the dip polish or dip powder, but um, it didn't remove it. That is for dang sure. So I do say it does something. Maybe it would remove like a glitter nail polish from your toes really conveniently, but it certainly doesn't work for this. It smells like, um, like suntan lotion. It doesn't have like a strong chemically smell. So that was at least pleasant and it didn't like feel like it was burning my finger off or anything. But I also attribute that to the fact that it wasn't really doing much. So I decided after recording this that I would email the company because their website has a 90 day satisfaction guaranteed if you don't like it we will refund your money so i thought let's see if they mean it so i emailed the company and they i will put their response at the end of this video as well as their return policy on the website which they linked in their email and they said go ahead and ship this back to the company or to the address it came from in china i believe and then they said once we receive it we will refund your money and you have to ship it back at your own cost I don't know what it costs to send a trackable item to China. Anyway, it probably isn't gonna be worth it for my $19 purchase or $20 purchase. That being said, this did not ship to me from China according to my return address because what they say is ship it back to the address in China that it came to you from. Well, my packaging says it came from California. So I responded to their email and as of this voice recording, I do not have another response from them, but I responded and sent a picture of my shipping label saying, this didn't come from China. It came from California, where I'm assuming you are. So I'll be curious if they respond, but moral of the story is don't waste your money. It doesn't work and they're not going to follow suit in returning or refunding your money unless you jump through all their hoops and then I'm honestly concerned that they would just say we didn't get it. But anyway, here is the website description for the, the product itself and what it's supposed to do. And then after this, you're going to see their refund policy and their email to me. So I hope I saved you 20 bucks and thanks for joining me. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye now.